So folks, today is another one of those videos where I sit down to bring you a routine update, but before the time I'm done recording, breaking news hits that changes everything. And so you're going to follow my process because it starts with Kevin McCarthy just acting like a nut job. The Spino, the speaker in name only, the Spino without a spine, continuing to bend over backwards to the MAGAs. But it didn't work because they have officially destroyed him today because of another move he made later on, because he is being threatened by the MAGAs saying, if you do X, if you make a deal with Biden and the Democrats to b lift the debt ceiling, then we will fire you. And today he just said he's making the deal. And so the Republicans have responded by ending his career. Hit the like and subscribe button because that's where we're going. In addition to the fact that a high profile Republican who just scored an exclusive meeting with Donald Trump has come out and said, exposed, if you will, a high profile affair, at least allegedly, between McCarthy and another top Republican. So it's a whole bunch of stuff's happening. But let's start with the fact that McCarthy is really trying to push the BS narratives around Hunter and Joe. I've never seen a person in elected office use their office like this to have 20 shell companies. You have a to nine people in the family getting paid after you take certain actions. I remember what has been allocated or uh, actually um, a, a accused here is you've got a whistleblower that the FBI still pays that believes heavily in way back years ago said that they are being bribed the Biden family, mm. but they never did anything with it, the FBI. you got IRS agents who's telling us they got treated differently, that the FBI actually warned Hunter Biden before they wanted to go meet with him, that here we have this Weiss, who is now the special counsel, literally let the statute of limitations run out on the most severe tax problems that the Biden family had, that they... Did you not disclose $400,000 and now get away with it without paying taxes? Nobody else in America was allowed to do that. And they knowingly allowed that to happen. They warned their attorneys before they would enter to find the papers that he had storage at a storage unit. That's not how they treated President Trump and others. So why is this special treatment here? And why can't we get the documents to prove that you're not being bribed, that you didn't get... So look, this is what he's trying to do. He knows he can't survive without the crazies. And McCarthy understands. Because look, I don't think McCarthy's a genius or even particularly bright. But I don't think he's dumb either. And he knows that the excessive, first of all, any focus, but especially the excessive focus on Hunter and how that affects, or in reality does not at all affect the presidency of Joe Biden is bad for them politically. It's not resonating. It doesn't matter to Americans. You know, even if Americans don't like Joe Biden, the reason they don't like Joe Biden is either because they're MAGA cultists or, you know, it's it's things like inflation. It's things like, you know, uh, cost of living. It's things like jobs, all of this. And whether or not these things are accurate, whether or not the Republicans would do any better, it's like that's what you should be attacking him on. And he continues here. And again, he's only doing it because if he doesn't do it, if he doesn't act like an absolute maniac, he'll get fired. And that's what's happening. Thank you, Maria. Will you bring an impeachment inquiry against President Biden this September? Well, Maria, first, you've got to understand, only because Republicans took the majority have we found out what President Biden told us when he was running for office is not true. He, he said he never had any dealings with his son's business, and that he never even talked to him. We've now found out not only did he call into the meetings, he went to dinner, and after the dinner, Hunter Biden got a new Porsche, that there was 3.5 million transferred. We now found out as he was a sitting vice president, the family created 20 shell companies. They received 16 of 17 payments from Romania, while he was vice president. We now found that the money would flow to nine family members. He has to continue to change this. But since then, we found a movement of his administration of weaponization. We found that now the uh, special prosecutor, David Weiss, actually let the statute of limitations run out on Hunter Biden's taxes. We found that the FBI actually 
informed Hunter Biden and the inaugural committee prior to our ability to go and interview him. We also have a DOJ that um, gave us, tried to give a sweetheart deal to Hunter Biden, and the judge said no. So if you look at all the information we've been able to gather so far, it is a natural step forward that you would have to go to an impeachment inquiry. And just so your, your um, viewers understand what that means, that provides Congress the apex of legal power to get all the information they need. Because remember what's laying out there right now. We have an attorney general that could have lied to the American public, which he has now named a special prosecutor. There, they have said two different things. And you have Gary Shapley on a little later today, IRS whistleblowers that have come forward that show that there's two forms of, of justice when it comes to America. But now when you look at this, it looks like a culture of corruption that's been happening within the entire Biden family. You've got to get the, to be able to answer that to the American public. The American public deserves that answer. Who's lying? What information went on? Who paid? And what foreign governments, when you found now that we know that an FBI actually had an informant, which got to a form of a 1023, claiming that they had bribed then vice president and yeah. saying that we would never find the money because they went through shell companies yeah. and withheld that from the IRS individuals investigating Hunter yeah. Biden. So you can see again, now they're, they're basically saying we're going towards an impeachment. It's madness. Look, it took forever to impeach Donald Trump. Maybe too long. But you could tell that like Pelosi understood how serious an impeachment is and how frankly you have to do more than impeachable stuff to be impeached. If it's borderline, you don't do it, right? And so when she finally did do it, when Trump tried to blackmail Ukraine, it was worth it. And especially, of course, when he was impeached for his fascist coup. That was obviously worth it as well. But there's nothing on Biden. And McCarthy knows that. And he knows it makes him and his party look bad and out of touch with working class Americans and their core economic needs. Again, the right wing policy prescriptions are bad for those people. But at least you pretend that oh, we're going to cut your taxes. We're going to take on the big spending Democrats. And it's all BS. But at least that narrative, like, would make it sound like you're talking about the issues. He's not doing that. And it's because of this clip. And this is what set it all off. McCarthy's going to have to listen to the people on the right or else he's going to have to rely on the Democrats to pass this. And, you know, they could do that. They did that with the uh, with the debt ceiling. The more Democrats voted for the debt ceiling than Republicans. They could go down that path again. But I'm telling you, if that happens... I mean, it's 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 gonna it's gonna be detrimental to uh, to leadership in the House if if they blow off the concerns of the uh, of people like myself and Freedom Caucus and some of the other people on the right that are making reasonable demands in this process. It's gonna be a problem. When you say a problem, are you guys prepared if he goes to Hakeem Jeffries again and really gives Hakeem uh, really Hakeem Jeffries makes him essentially the majority leader? Are you prepared to then uh, move on a motion to vacate to remove McCarthy as speaker? I, I, Steve, I'm going to be honest with you. I think that, that is, that's inevitable if, if, if we continue to rely on the Democrats to pass these important, this, this important legislation that's coming out of the House. The American people gave us the House back. Be it, albeit a you know a, a, a small margin here, they gave us the house back because they want to stop the nonsense that's happening in this country. They want to turn the tide. They want to take this country back. And and giving us the house back was the first step. We have an obligation to the people who put us here to do what needs to be done. So that's Ronnie Jackson, former Trump doctor, member of Congress, one of the Freedom Caucus nut bars, and what he's basically saying is McCarthy's dead if he doesn't do what we say. And we want basically no compromise with the Democrats. We want no compromise on giving them a deal. We don't want a short-term little deal. We don't want to give them all the money in the world. We want major cuts to essential programs. We want to basically let Ukraine suffer. And there's a whole bunch of demands. I'm not going to legitimize it by going over it. But it's ridiculous. And if Kevin bends even a little bit, it's over for him. And this was reiterated when a top Republican, and again, this lady sounds nuts, but she just had a one-on-one -on -one private meeting with the former president saying not only 
that Kevin McCarthy and Marjorie Taylor Greene have something disgusting going on together, but that they're both traitors to the right wing movement. Your side doesn't follow it's called rules. going along to get along. That's why, that's why, though. that's why, that's, that's, that's why, evidence. that's why Show Marjorie Trader Green, as I like to call her, Marjorie Show Trader Green campaigned on breaking up the establishment. So you Remember, she was doing all that hoorah rah about not, not supporting Boebert. Kevin McCarthy, so and now she's Kevin McCarthy's lapdog, okay? okay? She's on her knees in Congress every day for Kevin McCarthy as his personal cheerleader when he screws us over. He screws us over every single day. You can't delete paper. Yeah, maybe so Ma Marjorie Taylor Greene can use my my pillow code Loomer at my pillow so that she can get herself a nice pillow for her knees to place under Kevin McCarthy's desk. How about that? That's what she needs. Yeah. You know, like she, the imagery she's using is quite graphic and quite accusatory, right? But effectively, what they're saying is both of them are traitors. Like, and Marjorie more so because I guess she never thought Kevin was part of the team, but maybe Marjorie was. She's Marjorie Trader Green and all of that. But this is where Kevin ends it. It's over. The Freedom Caucus made a, th a demand that you're fired if you do this, and he just did this. So I would actually like to have a short-term CR only to make our argument stronger. Because, Maria, if we shut down, all of government shuts it down, investigation and everything else, it hurts the American public. But if we're able to pass our appropriation bills, we're in a stronger position to remove those, those Pelosi policies that are locked into law right now, the wokeism, yeah. the, the overspending, the non-security of this border. We want to secure the border, make us energy independent, make our streets safer, and let our parents have a say in their kids' education. Mm. We that was him just earlier. Saying he wants to make a deal. And now his argument, and he's trying to sweeten it up for the Freedom Caucus, is, well, I want to make a deal because if we don't make a deal, then we can't investigate Hunter. There's, we can't do it. If, if everything shuts down, then, like, everything shuts down, including the things we want to do. But, like, he knows he's just covering a, a you know, a, a, a piece of dirt and icing and trying to feed it to the Freedom Caucus. That's not what they want. He wants to make a deal because he knows that politically it's disastrous beyond the MAGA base for another shutdown. He knows it's disastrous and that his party will be blamed. But it's over now. They like look, got to take him out of word, right? Freedom Caucus said, "We'll fire you if you do this." He just did this. Kevin's getting fired. 